like to start a process to decide how we will spend the city coin proceeds. Um, and so I believe direction to the manager may be in order at this point. Yes. My, my recommendation is that we, you know, this is going to be money generated from basically the tech industry on, on this Bitcoin situation um, and the Miami coin. My recommendation would be going towards affordable housing, especially the proceeds from Miami coin yeah. will be directed toward affordable housing. There's a motion. There's a second. Is there anyone here from the public who'd like to comment on that? I would like to say something. Uh, I don't even know. Like, this is just crazy. I can't even... The city officials of Miami are super dope. Watching some of the way they interact, these dudes are super forward-thinking. Uh, it's not a shock to me that Miami is trying to be the capital of capital and crypto they're okay with, because they're just smart dudes, it seems like. Super forward-thinking. But, yeah, this is nuts. If you listen to the last podcast, I said something about how a lot of these crazy changes start at the local level, and they move up to the national level once they have uh, like proof. And we saw this with marriage rights. We saw this with uh, legalizing marijuana. And I do think that in the next five to 10 years, you're going to see that what Miami is doing right here, right now, will be a catalyst for crypto going forward, especially at the local level and other cities uh, jumping in ship because they see the benefit of what crypto can do when utilized properly. So, yeah, I don't want to ramble. I got a bunch of stuff I'm working on right now, but I had to just pause, throw up this little two-second video because this is crazy. Uh, yeah, but that's it. I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts? This is really happening. They're about to put their money towards affordable housing. That's, that's amazing. That's crazy. All right, that's it. Bye.